Today is my second day in Marioka, and earlier when I was having a late lunch, I saw that my mentor Joseph Rodriguez he posted a video titled "Thinking Fourth Dimensionally from Your Desire: Discussion of Naval Gardart." And I've been traveling nonstop since the beginning of this month, from Madrid to Granada, Granada to Cordoba for a few days, and then to Malaga. And I just arrived in Marioka, beautiful island in Spain. And it is definitely a beautiful experience. Also, at the same time, really finding my balance, finding myself in this work and travel lifestyle, right? And I do enjoy every second of、so、it. That's it. Today's episode is titled "You Already Are What You Wish to Be." So let's start with listening to part of his video today. One of the questions that I get asked is, "How do you find your purpose? How do you find your vision?" The simple answer that I give almost universally is, "What do you desire right now? Just commit to that and see it all the way till completion." Through the process, you're going to learn yourself, and through the process of learning yourself, you actualize who you're really meant to be. And after you have accomplished that goal or vision, the next one will show up, and you'll continue to build on the foundation of previous successes. And you'll be able to look back at your journey and cross-reference and see how all these things from your past were contributing to where you are today, laying the foundation for the person that you are going to become. Okay, so when I was watching his YouTube video and this idea, this feeling just rised within me, and it is something like this: follow through what you want to do now and see things unfold exactly. As they should for you, and I took a step back to reflect upon my travels and my entrepreneurship journey. A few days ago, I was in Cordoba and I ran into someone who is absolutely amazing as well. And let's call her Chica De Norte. When we met, we had such a profound discussion about destiny, about. Finding your true self about how do you know that what you're doing now is the right things for you. So I believe she didn't know what to do at that moment, but she does now. And reflect upon my entrepreneurship journey, and I can definitely relate. My entrepreneurship journey, the highlight, is like this: I did. An internship in Los Angeles at this educational startup. That was the first opportunity for me in Los Angeles. Although I went to school, university on the East Coast of America, and when that opportunity showed up, I took it right away because I knew it. That was my path. That was something prepared for me to move to Los Angeles, and I worked there for about two and a half months or so. I quit my job to participate in the Forbes event. When I was there, I was just being myself. I talked to everybody. I took photos of everybody. I spread good vibes. And from that, actually, someone came up to me and said, "Hey, you have such good vibes. Whereabouts do you live?" I told him Los Angeles, and he said, "Okay, come to my meetup next week. We should definitely link." And I did that. From that, one thing led to another. Someone at the meetup. He also working at a conference called Blockon in Santa Monica, and I went to the Blockon the next day and met someone else when I was literally waiting in line at Blockon. And then me and these people we started blockchain meetups and events. One thing led to another because of the bull run of 2017, we became so big, and that's when I started the entrepreneurship journey in the blockchain space. We hosted events in Los Angeles, in Hong Kong, in Seattle, in Spain, and many, many other countries and places as well. Take a step back. <laughs> also at the same, take a step back. Also at the same time, right after I quit my educational startup gig, I was also working at a nightclub in Hollywood. So sharing two quotes just to、and、encourage people to do things right. Vincent Van Gogh he said, "What would life be if we had no courage to attempt anything at all?" And Lao Tzu he said, "When I let go of what I am, I become what I might be."
right? Which we're gonna later come back and talk more about this. And I'm very glad I did that because I, the ego thought at the time, working in the nightclub, that lifestyle was what I wanted, and realized that no, it wasn't for me. It was just an ego thing, which is totally fine because I did enjoy it, and also I get to cultivate so much of my personal skills, which is so important. For my business nowadays. Now let's diving in a little bit deeper to reflect upon my entrepreneurship journey and what I have learned, and how it will benefit you by giving you the confidence to follow through what you want to do. Your heart calling, right? I had no idea that what would happen next when I take on my internship in Los Angeles at the time. And I had no idea what might happen when I essentially spent all my savings to attend this Forbes event and booked Airbnb for five nights. And I had no clue what kind of people I might met at the blockchain conferences, right? But one thing led to another. You follow your heart. You show up. You bring the good vibes. You are prepared. And things are truly just unfold for you, right? And I bet if you truly reflect back upon your life, there are so many times that it have already happened to you. This is the beauty and emphasize. This is the beauty and something we must emphasize about the disattachment. Because maybe you don't even want the goal. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't even want the success. Or X amount of money in your bank account, or the fame, or X amount of crypto in your bank account. Maybe what you wanted to do was to run away from the pain, right? And this is the beauty about doing and taking on actions without being attached to the outcome, right? Because that is something is selfless. You are just. Building something, you are not focusing on the outcome, and from that process, you are more and more conscious. You are more and more aware of your thoughts, and this is something I personally reflect upon every day. The differences between a true goal or your real destiny is something you do it without any attachment. For example, if you truly love and care for somebody, maybe you don't even. Care if they love you back or not, right? It's like the love you have between your family. Even you all might fight, might argue, but you still love them unconditionally, and that is the unconditional love for your true destiny. Because you are meant to accomplish something, and it might take a long time or it take very very short period of time. But the whole point here is doing something without attachment, because when you do so, you can let go of what you were, and you will become who you really meant to be. And all of that led to today this YouTube channel and the media brand that I'm building with a group of a team of amazing people, which that also led me to have the ability and resources to travel and work from essentially anywhere I want. And on the path of entrepreneurship journey, there is something also called purify the mind.、Video. And let's listen to a clip from Joseph's video. Here he talk about the purification of the mind. So one of the things that I have noticed about myself, as well as many others on this journey, is when we commit to a goal and see it all the way to completion, we go through this process, which I refer to as purification of the mind. We release ourselves from certain thinking, and we assign ourselves automatically. It seems, in our dialogue, in our conversation, that is in harmony, from the perspective of love, more so, with things that show up, and we transform. We actually, as he says here, rise up to higher levels of consciousness through the process. Of actually moving forward with what we desire. Okay, now you see and understand 
more clearly about what we meant by purify the mind. It means let go of the identification of the self. It is something essentially like your ego hanging on to who you think you are, and this directly linked to what Lao Tzu said, who, by the way, is author of the Tao. This is something beyond duality, beyond the good and bad, beyond the right thing or the wrong thing. Because when you are doing things and you let go, you become non-attached to it. You have the freedom for infinite possibilities. Anyway, let's. Wrapping up today's video, you already are what you wish to be, and you already are what you believe. It is truly time to let go the fear, the insecurities, and the drama. All those things, our identifications, believe who we were. And now we can truly just decided to let all those things go. And when you really make a decision, you realize that so many things start to clear up. And this is what I mean by things are unfolding for you, right? You realize people are the energy drainers, the people who in the past always bring drama into your life. You realize those people either they just naturally don't want to spend time with you anymore, they don't text you anymore, or you. Decided to not to spend time with them, and let's conclude this episode with these. You already are what you wish to be, and you already are what you believe. An affirmation goes like this: I have a lavish, steady, dependable income, consistent with integrity and mutual benefits. And just keep that in mind. And then don't be attached to it. Some way, somehow, it will come through. Some way, somehow, your visions will be realized, because that is fun for me. That is what life is about. Think about if you already have a movie a thousand times, which means that you know already at each second what will happen in the movie slash in your life. Then maybe that is not that fun, right? Some way, somehow, that business opportunity that is making you a fortune will come through. Some way, somehow, that person of your ideal relationship is showing up in your life. Some way, somehow, that crypto you picked it is to the moon. With that said, this is Jazzy from the Future Hour. Thank you so much, and I will talk to you soon. Also, if you enjoy this episode, please subscribe, share this to a friend, and just spread the vibes. Peace.